All right. So we're back again, and in this video, we're going to look at um, onboarding an FTD device. In the last video, we onboarded our uh, ASA devices that we see here. So to start with onboarding our FTD device, we're going to hit the plus sign. And we're going to choose FTD. And here we're going to use our uh, user credentials for onboarding. We could also do uh, a registration key. Registration keys are great if you have a device that, uh, you know, maybe your ISP um, assigned you an IP address via DHCP so that IP address could change often. This is a good solution for this. So it just uses a registration key. If that IP address changes, it just it uses that same registration key to uh, to contact for CDO to contact the device. So here we're going to use user credentials though. We're going to give it a device name, branch three, TDV, and we're going to give it the IP address. So again, this is great if you have a static IP address because this is always going to be the IP address of the of the device. <clears throat> like I said in the uh, with the the one, the uh, token one, uh, we could, it'd be good for if you had DHCP. So we'll hit go. CDO is going to now onboard the device via our on-prem on secure device connector. And we can see here it is, um, it's, it's prompting us for a cert issue um, on the box. And for this environment in my lab, I'm gonna go ahead and just say permanently disable the cert uh, validation here. And I'm gonna click go. And then now I'm gonna enter my username and password. connect it's going to go out and connect to this device and give it a little second here it should uh, prompt us for uh, adding labels once it does this there we go successful ask us if we want to add a label like we talked about earlier, we want to add labels to this because we can use labels for a lot of different features that we'll look at later on. New branch three. And finish. And it's as easy as that. We've got our first uh, FTD device that's been onboarded. So we can now take a look at that. We'll select it. And just like we saw earlier on the ASAs, we've got our... Uh, device details here that show us details about the device, IP address, model, uh, the version of code it's running. We can see it is currently syncing, so CDO is communicating with the device right now to sync all the config. This can take a little bit with uh, the Firepower devices, so we'll let that continue to run. Um, we can scroll down, we've got conflict detection, so right now it's set to disable. We could enable that um, if we wanted to, and we could be alerted and uh, if we have uh, if we detect conflict within our config, we can add some additional labels. So a lot of the same features and functionality that we saw with the ASA. So it's that simple with the FTD. Um, so in this scenario, we onboarded an FTD device to CDO and. Uh, in our next uh, video, we're going to look at onboarding an ISO router. So please like and subscribe this video and check back with us later for additional content. Thanks. Bye.